Uh, hey guys, so I'm gonna be doing a video on why I think that like spraying is kind of overrated in CSGO. This is coming from a former level 10. I was actually at 2500 ELO. Fucking lost it all um, during college, but yeah, I'm currently still barely a level 10. And I was formerly, I was formerly a global elite um, on CS. And uh, just to prove that this face it thing is real, I'll go to my profile, click on the link goes back to my profile um, but I th think that spraying is kind of overrated um, like make sh uh, like learning past your maybe 15th bullet on a spray for something like the AK-47 is so unnecessary because theoretically um, what people are taught to do in CSGO is you would spray transfer like if there were multiple people on your screen you'd spray transfer to the next person um, after a sp after killing the first person, but you only really have to do that. Instead, if you tap on your aim, you are more reliable to kind of and have a better chance of hitting uh, two headshots at the same time if you practice that. Um, and also, I believe in higher levels, uh, such as like level ten face it or FPL. I rarely see people do a full thirty bullet spray, um, and tapping just saves more bullets too, and. When you're playing pro or FPL or level 10, every bullet really matters in your gun. Especially with uh, AK or something like that, the M4A1, right? Because you only have 20 bullets in that, and the AK is 30, but it goes really quick. Um, I feel like the largest con of doing this is, is it takes a lot of practice. Um, I usually do a Kovacs warm-up, and it's the War Owl warm-up that I can link in the description below for Kovacs. Uh, and it just works on your cross replacement, but you have to be consistent with it every day to um, kind of get better at what you do. And other than that, I feel like another pro is that you kind of develop your flick, which is uh, very hard in PC games. And I also know that uh, flicking onto people um, kind of helps with the op as well, since. Basically, you're, if you're combat opping, you're flicking from shot to shot, and you don't have a cross in the middle, but um, usually when you play long enough, you kind of develop a kind of ghost crosser that your brain kind of thinks about in the middle of your screen. So it does really help with that as well. Um, and also, I feel like on T, uh, not just for the AK, but on CT side, uh, if you have the M4, uh, the first shot accuracy for M4 is usually... Uh, 100%, I believe, compared to the AK, which is 99.7% first shot accuracy. Uh, and I feel like if you are very good at cross replacement and also very good at tapping heads, you don't really need a spray because if you think about it, like, if you get the first two bullets, three shots with the head, and spraying would be a negative thing. Let me turn on the volume here. And spraying would be a negative thing, kind of, because. Uh, you might kill the person later than um without the first with the first two bullets if you're just tapping right. So there's also that. And also, I feel like on a gun round in um CS:GO usually, you're not killing more than two people per like per fight, right? So maybe like going past the tenth bullet isn't very necessary for like the like the first initial pull down of the AK and them four. Um. Just because you don't really need to, kind of, it's it's an unnecessary. You, you're not going to kill up two people with thirty bullets unless you're like really bad, right? So, I feel like those are the reasons. I feel like um spraying isn't very good in higher levels of CS, and it's more tapping. But there are ways to get better at tapping. I feel like one way is to play deathmatch, but instead of doing like the regular run around spray, um, I took this from Phase Nico, but he usually goes around and either listens to music or um, like turns the CS volume all the way down and he just like taps like this and tries to get as much kills as possible. And this practices your crosshair placement as well as your like aim for tapping. And I usually try to do uh, 50 kills on the AK and 50 kills on the Deagle before um, starting my matches. And I also mentioned Kovacs before. I also use the World warm uh, warm-up before I play DM sometimes um other than that i feel like 
Uh, yeah, like maybe watch like phase Nico and like one of the reasons he's like the best rifler or best eagler in the world is because of his cross replacement, not because of his spray. If you watch a lot of his highlights, he's just tapping heads, and I'll pull some up right here. Um, but yeah, that's just my take on um. Spraying in CSGO, I think it's very unnecessary to spray past the 10th bullet in most cases. Especially uh, if you think, like, if you watch the clips of Zinteras and all that crap, like, spraying, like, the five people down mid. Like, they're usually on eco rounds. And even if you don't spray the five people down initially, and you get one or two and back off, like, your team has a higher, like, a very high chance of winning the round. And it's so, like, unimpactful to the game in, like, the whole scheme of things. And yeah, other than that, I feel like just tapping, working on crosshair placement, and also knowing your reaction time as well. Uh, I feel like um, knowing like where to place your crosshair placement for the swing really matters when you're trying to tap instead of spray. And committing to a spray also kind of means that you're putting that bad position if you miss like the first initial shots and you're open to a trade and strafe tapping Kind of prevents that from happening and why you cannot change um and it kind of lets you live run back maybe uh why is it going yeah run back live and also kind of like um throw some utility to help your teammates and kind of keep the man advantage on like your team but yeah this was just my take on spraying i don't think it's very necessary i think tapping is probably the best way to go if you want to learn CS and kind of play at a high level, um, either on Faceit, ESCA, or anything else. Yeah, thanks for watching.